Yo, what's going on y'all? It's your boy Chase Vibes back with another video. As y'all can see from the title, today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make virtual slash like hyper pop style melodies. Um, but before we get into that, I really just want to thank everybody that's been subscribing to the channel. We hit 1,000 subscribers yesterday. We're like at like 1 point or 1,400 subscribers right now. So I really appreciate everyone that's been subscribing, man. It's been a gold mine to hit 1,000 for a while now. Uh, I finally decided to be consistent and everything. I finally achieved the goals. So next goal is 10,000 man i know look the goal for it is by april so everyone watching make sure to subscribe like comment if you enjoy the content uh but yeah i appreciate y'all man so let's just get ahead go ahead and get right into it so i went ahead and uh made this little melody from scratch just because sometimes i'll be having beat block i'll be feeling under pressure um but i went ahead and made this <laughs> some like a few like little counter melody parts on top of this um all right that's good enough simple but we won't, we're gonna sauce it up so send it to the mixer track put an eq on it maybe a little bit of reverb Um, and this is a preset called uh, uh, Classic uh, Pluck right here, Barbrito. Go ahead and uh, I'm going to turn this into a WAV file just to make it a little bit um, less damaging on my CPU. Uh, so you can go here, click on play, press record, and then play up here. Alright, now I'm just going to um, double click on this right here, click Control X. Uh, delete it and click this right here send it to the uh, playlist <clears throat> all right and then what i'm going to do is just copy this send it over to here delete this and then what i'm going to do is go ahead and uh, find a lead triangle lead i've been using a lot whenever i was watching some tutorials on these melodies just one of the leads that i found Usually, like the main melodies, like you can keep them, but you're usually gonna be simple chord progressions or like cut up uh, melodies like this that are kind of like just simple, kind of spaced out sometimes, and you add like those nice little like top counter melody parts. So, and then for these, uh, this is my favorite part with these leads. You just come up with some weird like creative melody or whatever. So. something like that that's simple um maybe drop this down an octave it's just because it sounds a little harsh see how it sounds though it might not sound right no yeah that sounds that sounds better Since Omnisphere, you can really use it span, purity, if you know how to find the right sounds. Uh, but Omnisphere typically has a lot of those like short plucks, um, synthy sounds, leads. Then what I'm going to go ahead and do is go to uh, Shark Boy's Omnisphere Bank. I think there's a bass in there that I like. follow the root notes of your um, patterns Hey, this is hard. 
This is hard. I gotta say this real quick before I lose it. Always save. You gotta save your FLPs first. Or you can lose them. I've been doing this thing now where I put, um... I do, like, I'll name the type of beat that it is. Like, virtual, guitar, piano. Just so if I'm in the studio, some artists want some beats. Or if some artist hits me up and be like, yo, send me some stuff on my email. I can just go through the beats and be like, okay, this is virtual. This is, you know what I'm saying? Instead of having to play them, you just do it like that. If you're not putting a pack together off rip, so... Um, I'll call this... Hyper Love. 37 BPM. Always put the BPM and um, the key in your loop. So this is the key of F sharp minor, but you don't gotta put minor. Uh, and then your producer name. A lot of times uh, people be forgetting to put their producer names in, um, in their loops. Cause a lot of times what will happen is like, let's say that like, let's say that this is a loop right here and it just says the BPM and shit and I drag and drop it. And then I just, cause I just, you know what I'm saying? You just go. So you make the beat and you're like, okay, I gotta get credit. And then you're like, wait, who made the loop? So you gotta go back to your loop kits. If you're if you're a good person and you wanna give the person credit, you gotta go back to your loop kits and then you gotta find the loop. So always name the B or always put the BPM, name the key, and put your producer name in the loop. Thing real quick is I'm sure y'all noticed that um, I left out this uh, note right here that just adds a little bit of extra bounce because in your head like you're thinking that okay it went like this it just it just sounds more like new it's just something different so always do like little different switches up switch ups in your beats but keep them simple it's just over time of like um, I've been making beats for four years, so over time you just like making stuff like you just pick up little things that you do different That really like makes a big difference in the beat So last thing I'm probably gonna do is like add a harp and then a vocal maybe But let's just see what this is sounding like If any of y'all know any like good Omnisphere banks for like making virtual beats, let me know. Or if you guys, if there's any like producers that have any that are like selling them, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll cop some because I need some. So go ahead and like load this stuff up. Change this harp though.
ahead and added this vocal um at arcade i dropped it down one octave it's in the key f sharp um and then it's called tale of the oracle so man this is what this sounds like and it's it's real real subtle like i have it tucked in as just like ear candy so i play valhalla vintage on it i dropped down like 1.17 uh the decay i left everything the same way it's just a default preset default preset is really the hardest out of the whole thing so um yeah i don't know if y'all can hear the difference drop this real quick I mean, so that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and arrange it, export it. Um, once again, thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. I'm dropping a free virtual loop kit Friday, free virtual, you know, hyper pop. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. You know, better content coming in the future as well. I'm looking to drop daily content as well. Uh, I'm back on my grind, man. So I appreciate everyone that's been tuning in. Um, if you, anybody wants to collab, feel free to um, uh, email me some loops or whatever, or just hit my DM at Chase Vibes. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Peace.